Alright guys, we are here with my man Adrian. <laughs> there you go. Today's gonna be a cool video because one, we're 12 days out from NPC Universe, an IFBB Pro Qualifier. And the goal for today's video is I wanna kinda like let you get a feel of what it's like to train with me. So we're gonna train, we're gonna see what it's like when I push him. We're gonna then talk about it afterwards, kinda go through his mind of what it's like to train with me, the things he likes, maybe things he dislikes, but just kinda like what it's like to, because like, people always mess with me and say like, yo, I wanna train with you, and you know, I can't train everyone, but it's just, it just is what it is, but like, this is my training partner, so he's gonna be the person you can figure out to be like, what's it like to train with Matt? So that's gonna be the goal for today's video. Hope you guys enjoy this, get right into it. So on the post-workout cardio, we just got done training and doing a pretty grueling posing session, to be honest with you, so need to get the posing on point. But like I said, the main purpose of this video is I want you guys to understand what it's like to train me. And best way to do that is to have my training partner kind of give you insight on what he likes, what he dislikes, because, uh, you know, not everything's perfect. So I'm going to shift over to him and he's going to tell you what it's like to train me because he's been training me for a while now. and. It's been really, what's the word? Rewarding to be a part of his journey and to see where he came from because I pretty much was, I wouldn't say from the beginning, but from the, the portion of when he really started taking it seriously till now, I've been there pretty much the whole time. So I'm gonna pass on to him now. And he did tell you what it's like training me. foremost it's kind of hard for me to give like an unbiased view on the training because like we have the same style like we just love training intense so like to some people like our training might be like or I should say his style of training our style whatever right. might come off like really intense to some people where it'd be really difficult like I brought our style of training to train with other people and they're like wow this is like really intense but to us it's just like normal um, as far as how this style it's just what we're accustomed to because we like to push hard. I don't know, I guess. Like, it's, it's just... If anything, I have, to pull, I have to pull him back from your training. Yeah, that's that's my, like, personal fault. Like, I like just, like... I'm an all-or-nothing type of person in general. So, for me, it's just, like, I'll go to failure on everything if he doesn't tell me not to. So, like, I'm just, like, whatever. But that's... Anyway, that's besides the point. As time has gone on, we've really focused on, like, priming the training to keep the intensity but smarten it up and like really target the muscles themselves. Like, so yeah, we've been pulling back on weight from what we've done before, but like, it's so much more in the muscle. Targeting the muscle, thinking about it. Like it's a lot just overall smarter training in the, in the training as a whole, which is why he's made the improvements he did in this last off season. This is more of a recent thing. That's why all his body parts, like his delts, his chest and his upper back, all the body parts we've needed to pop more over all these years are finally starting to do that by just training more into the muscle, more mind to muscle connection, more just deeper like, for instance, contracting on a negative. It doesn't make any sense, but it's, it works. You know what I'm saying? Like it sounds backwards, but like it makes a huge difference. So now hopefully we'll get that a better look for me and improve certain body parts for my next show same way he did for this show. I think these are the best improvements he's ever made because he's a, because not only is he more conditioned than ever, but the body parts we've been trying to have him improve for like three years, finally improved in this off season. And it was main difference is training really. That's what it boils down to. But um, yeah, that's really it. It's just high, it's intense, intense, intense. Just go all out, bro. Like, just go all out. It doesn't mean it doesn't necessarily mean going like all out on weight. Sometimes it just means going all out in that muscle. Like something I've been telling him recently, 
is like before I used to feel like overall just exhaust when I was done training. Now, when, when I'm done training, if we train back and we targeted the upper back, my upper back, like my traps and rhomboid area feel exhausted. Not my whole body, just that area. And I'm like, it's so weird and different, but it's definitely working. It worked for him. Hopefully it's gonna work for me. I don't see why it wouldn't, you know? But um, yeah, um, as far as things I like, I mean, I love training. <laughs> That's my man. It's like, I love training. <laughs> you know, it's just, it just works. It just sinks, you know? You can't just train with anybody every day. Um, the only thing I could say, like, maybe I don't like about training with him is like, he's an asshole. No, 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 like certain things, like I have certain imbalances, so I do certain things. Like for instance, I like going open hands. You'll probably see it in the, in the video where he's like, hold on to the grip. But for me, by having open hands, I can adjust like my grip a little bit better to, for my imbalances to contract evenly in the same part of my chest. So like, but besides that, like. I also don't say anything to him about it, so like he doesn't know. So it's just <laughs> not something I communicate at all. The only thing that did kind of bother me before was like when we started training more now, because like it's been on and off since I was training with schedules and things like that. Was like he would like have me pull back and not go failure all the time. And like especially in prep, like I was just so like focused and hype, like I just wanted to go to failure all the time, every time. But I realized like that's just me being dumb. It's like now I've realized and understand like. Like, let's pull back and let's train smart. But not just smart enough to train. I'm just a dumb guy. <laughs> but yeah, I, I mean, that's the best way I can describe training with Matt. Um, it's just raw, hard, intense. Intensity is a must. Intense and passion.
So I was just saying, yeah, I felt good today. Like I felt like I could have got the 105s for eight instead of six. And he's like, yo, you did exactly what you needed to. Like that's an example of like me wanting to go all the way out. If I would have got those last two reps, yeah, I probably would have got them out, but they wouldn't have been as quality. The contraction would have been as good. I would have had my shoulder taken over. I would have rolled over a little bit more. So that's just another example of like, for me, for instance, like he sets me straight. You know, for somebody else to train with him, he might have to push them more and show them, hey, like, you need, you, you haven't been trained intense enough. You know, everybody's different, you know. But yeah, I thought that was something interesting, like, as an example of something that, you know, training with him does for me personally. You kind of got the perspective now of what it's like to train with me from my actual training partner. So, if I had to, you know, if I had to be, like, just kind of real with myself, is that I do take pride in the fact that I'm gonna push you in the right way. I do, and it's just with him, because he's like, he's like my brother, honestly. I don't have patience when he fucks things up. <laughs> like, I don't have patience for that. Like, I expect him to do things correctly. So that's, that's the one thing I need to work on a little bit more, but I think that when it comes to training, I just like, this is, this is our passion. Like, we come in this gym, and we don't really talk a lot to other people. I mean, we're friends with everyone. We don't even talk to each other. We don't, we don't even talk to each other. And I like that because we're in here to work. We're focused on our goals. We're hustling. We're not here to talk. So it's just, this is our passion. Like we look forward to this all day. Like this is legit what we look forward to. So when it's time to train, you know, we don't want to veer off and not be locked in on what we're doing because we look forward to this moment so much. So that's what's like the train with me. We really do have a lot of heart and passion for this and we just enjoy getting better. That's what this is about, about getting better. But with that being said, that's gonna wrap today's video. As always, like, comment, subscribe, share this video. Helps the channel grow. Helps me to continue to make these videos. My name is Matt Grego. Adrian Martinez here today. Goose on the film. And we're out of here.